Hey, it's Steven here from Marketplace Superheroes, and in this video, I'm gonna break down another seven hot products that I'm gonna tell you now will bomb for you if you ever invest any money in them. Watch the video to the end and make sure you never invest in any of these. Oh, and by the way, smash the like button. Smash it now, please. And let's get into the video. Okay, we've done these a couple of times on the channel and they have been resounding winners of videos. You guys have really enjoyed them and you watching right now on your own that I'm speaking to right now, you enjoyed it too, which is fantastic. Anyway, we're gonna get into the video now and get into these seven different products that I have for you today. Please do not invest in any of these. So let's jump over to the screen and look at the first one. All right, so the first one we're gonna search here is a stainless steel straw. Yes, it is as exciting as it sounds on the tin. First things first, what do we look at? When we search this generic key term, we look at the number of results on the page. So here it is 10,000, so that is out. We want something that is 1,000 or less. In some cases, cases that can be higher, typically 1,000 results or less is what we're looking for, right? Level one, it's gone. That said, let's keep looking just to keep breaking down for you my thought process. So as we go down, we start to see all these different products, right? And we can see the different BSR, so 704, 30, 260,000, 1759. So what does that tell us straight away? Well, we can see that there's a lot of purchasing happening in this market because we've got these BSRs that are well under 20,000 and the entire first page, pretty much most of them are under 20,000. So that tells us it's a big market, right? Which might be a good thing, but the bad thing is there's just too many options, okay? When you look at these, what would you do with this product to make it stand out? Like, how would you make it different? People are trying to do it right now. They're getting kind of like, less branded here, more branded here, right? And they're doing everything they possibly can. There's people doing deals. There's everything going on that you can think of. Now this product here, it is the 30th in kitchen and dining. So this one right here, it is selling an unbelievable amount, like an unbelievable amount. I can tell you that right now. Uh, but, you know, I would never ever sell this item because it's just too competitive. So there's a lot of people saying you should sell these stainless steel straws. And when you look down, you can see it's what we would call a confused market. And a confused market is one in which, you know, there's lots of different types of straws as well. And so which one would you choose, right? Would you go for the plain ones? Would you go for the colored ones? There's no rhyme or reason to it. That's another thing to really consider here. Also, like it's a, it's what we call a clone or Me Too product. So they're all cloned pretty much, except for the colored ones. So they're all the same thing. And there's nothing you can do to stand out. There's nothing you can do to change it up. There's people trying to do four plus one, blah, blah, blah. It's just a really bad item. And one that I hope to whoever that you never do it, all right. So let's get on to the second product now. So we're on to the second one, and this one to stay on the theme of stainless steel. We are just attacking stainless steel today, like we're attacking the liquid Terminator guy. But here is what it is, it's a stainless steel tumbler, all right? Now, let's look down at this. So what do we see, first of all? Search results, 20,000 or more. Really, really bad, so much. Now there's a lot of people buying these products, which is good, right? But as we know, we would just look down here and straight away, what are we seeing here? They're all the same damn thing. Some things are slightly different colors than others, but a lot of these are pretty much the same item, right? Now we would look at the BSRs just to see like, well, how, how, let's get a feel for the size of the market. So again, sub 20,000, nah, these are obviously sponsored as well, just to consider that as well. So they don't kind of count quite as much. Uh, these are the more organic choices and many of these, if that would just go away, it'd be great. Over 5,000 here, uh, right down here, we have 12,000, 25,000, 23,000. So like in my opinion, I would have expected the BSRs to be a lot lower than this as well. You know, to be in to say 200 in kitchen and dining, things like that. A lot of them are not, however, so that's interesting in itself. But as we just scroll down, like we just, I would get so afraid so quickly. And obviously things like stainless steel straws will show up too because we have the key phrase stainless steel in here. I mean, if we just to show you that, if I just went with stainless steel, uh, this should jump up, see 100,000. So then we add in the other word, tumblers. So that takes down our results quite a bit. And that's basically how the A9 search algorithm works. Very, very simple search engine information, but important to know nonetheless. So it will give us some slightly skewed results because of that, as you can appreciate. But as I look down, you know, it's just a market that I'd be so scared to get into because what would you pick? Like, would you do pink ones, blue ones, black ones, just, you know, bog basic ones? What would you do to stand out here? It's almost impossible to know. Too many search results, something you absolutely shouldn't do. So anybody, I've seen these on these lists, that's why I picked these off of, and I see them all the time. People saying, do these products, they sell so well. How in the 
hell would you get customers for this product? And also remember, if you're telling me, oh, I do Amazon sponsored products, well, look, you can see the sponsored results. They're full of people doing the exact same thing. So it's gonna cost a lot of money to drive a click to your listing, just not worth doing. So that's the second one. Let's get on to the third. If I have not already convinced you of this, I wanna do it right now. And I want you to hashtag boring is good down in the comments below. I might've done this hashtag before and I actually don't mind because boring is good. And we like selling items that that are not selling near as much as these ones, but are ones we can sell in multiple countries. So if you agree with what I'm saying, I'm gonna try to shake the screen even though it's a camera, to put in boring is good right now as a hashtag, and we'll get back to the video. And now on to the third product in our series of products are gonna bomb, let's do it. All right, we have compression socks. So compression socks, there's 30,000 results. Straight away, it's gone. Like these are gone in two seconds with our process, process we use at Marketplace Superheroes. However, I gotta keep going through them because it's important to explain, well, not only are the search results awful, but everything else is awful too. So let's keep going. Now, there's some wonderful images here, as you can see, that are kind of funny. Uh, but anyway, let's keep looking. So they're all, this is the same listing, I believe, is that one. Yeah, this one's just sponsored. So these are all sponsored, as you can see, right? Um, the people are paying money to get in front of customers. Customers. Now straight away, humongous market. Look, 16, 20, 707, 460. And they're obviously in the sponsored ones, right? So we get into the organics down here. We're getting into 219. Like the, this is a huge market. And you might think, well, it's a great market to be in then because it's huge, but it's just a scary, scary, scary market on Amazon because at the end of the day, what are we doing? We're taking a product, we're making a new offer, a better offer. We're putting it onto Amazon to get in front of the customers. But the key phrases here are going to be compression size. Like that's the keyword that we're going after. There's massive search volume behind it, but also there's massive competition behind it as well. So this is something that we absolutely want to keep away from because it's going to be so hard to stand out. You know, let's keep looking. I'm actually going to open up Amazon.co.uk as well, just to try and sell this to you as well. Seeing, seeing as it's in English, it'll be the same key phrase. Let's just take a quick look at that. So again, look, 100,000 on Amazon.co.uk, uh, 100,000 on Amazon, over 30,000 result, results here. So again, you know, just it's because my location is different here and my location is different here. That's why these results sometimes change. It's just an algorithm thing. But anyway, look, this is way out of whack in the UK as well. Similar thing, like very, very much a big, big, big seller, which is very interesting. I didn't realize so many people bought compression socks, but now I do. So look, we would just avoid this item simply because it's gonna be too hard to compete. And again, looking at it also, it's confused mark too, right? It's not clear exactly which one we would go for. It's interesting that people are kind of trying to niche it down as well here. When you look at an item like this, where it's kind of more for the nurse doctor market, right? And there's other people doing different things, different colors. This is obviously a, a variation listing as well with different colors, right? Lots of people trying to do lots of different things, but just so hard to know what to do is even people doing like this art stuff on it, which is interesting as well. Uh, and again, people might be thinking, well, if I or nurses, there you go. People might be thinking, well, if I put whatever, this this artwork on my, my socks, I'm gonna stand out. But you have to understand that someone has to search like compression socks on Amazon. Are they gonna search, you know, compression socks with the Mona Lisa on it? I mean, I highly doubt it, even though I love having Mona Lisa on all my clothing. Inside here is the Mona Lisa. Uh, but you know, this is just the thing. People don't do it, right? It's just not something that makes any sense whatsoever. That one's out. We're not gonna do that one. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so we had stainless steel. I brought that to you first. I then brought to you compression socks. Now I'm bringing to you another compression product to never do. It is, of course, the world famous compression knee sleeve. So this is the thing you put on your knee to compress your knee. Obviously, it does what it says in the tin, pretty simple. But this one here, over 5,000 results, so not so bad. We would sometimes consider items in this range, depending on the competition. But here is where this one dies a very, very quick death, um, really quick death. Like the weird guy in the horror movie who dies early on in the film, right? Oh my God. So we have, as we scroll down here, a confused market. Like, what design would you go for, right? Would you go for, I have no idea. Different color, why is it the color that people are buying on? Is it the design, what is it? Now something like this, you know, it's $13.32, it's number eight in sports and outdoors. So like these items as a whole, they're selling massively. They're all well under 20,000 in that main category. They're selling like crazy. 
but it's just too hard to know what to do. Now, nobody is trying to stand out here, which is kind of interesting. They're all standing out based on cosmetic looks, how the actual item looks, but no one's doing like bonuses or making a better offer, which you might think is an opportunity, but again, getting ranked for knee brace compression sleeve, that's gonna be really hard. Because as you look around here, it's knee brace support, knee brace, com uh, brace compression sleeve. These are the key two main key phrases that everyone is clearly trying to rank for in this market. So it's extremely hard to, to get in here. You know, I would say some of these items that are number one have been selling on Amazon for a long time. Uh, we'll actually just go down and have a look at this one here and just see if we can find that. Sometimes the information is here, sometimes it's not. But again, this is a, this is an interesting one. Uh, best Brie, uh, Best Brie, okay. Best knee brace for men and women, knee support for running, basketball. I mean, it's 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 a very much a generic product in this, in this market. So very tricky. Now let's scroll down and see uh, what we got here. Yeah, it doesn't tell us when it first launched. We could go back and look at Keepa and try and get a feel for that, but there's no point really in, in the context of what we're talking about today. So just to say like you're into sizes as well now, even if this was a good market, you're into like small, medium, large, extra large, XXL, like it's such a hard thing to get right. Cause even at that, like how many orders, how many do you order of the large and medium? They're probably your best sellers in the small, then your XXL, how many of those do you order? So you're always gonna have that problem as well. So it's just an item I would never do, never consider doing. Please promise me you don't do it as well. That would be excellent. That would be my job done if you did that. Next product. Okay, so this is another one that is interesting that it works really well on Amazon. It sells a lot, so too much demand for it, as you will see in just a second. Uh, this is the silicone wedding ring, all right? So, you know, I think it makes a lot of sense why people like these products. I wouldn't buy one of these per se. I already have one, thankfully, don't want another one. Uh, but anyway, there's 4,000 results for this, right? Number one, too many. I mean, look, it could work depending on the offers that are out here, but in this context, it's just not gonna work. Now, the interesting thing is there's a lots, lots of demand for this, right? There's a lot of people buying these and you know, they're probably buying them as well, like for, you know, backup rings and things like that. Or maybe they lost their wedding ring and it's sort of a, a less expensive alternative. Some people may be trying to do a wedding on a budget, whatever the case may be. So this is an interesting one, right? Uh, let's go down. So look, yet again, lots of colors, bad thing, confused market. Too hard to know what you would sell. I mean, even here, this uh, Thunder Fit thing, let's just look in here for one sec. When you look at this item, right? You've got a size issue, number one, but number two then, you've got a design issue. Like this is a nightmare of a product to sell. I, I, would, I would hate to be in this market. And I understand why people are because we can see here, the BSRs are low, therefore the market's pretty big. But the problem is so clear. I mean, it's clear as day that the, the size issue is awful and the other issue is gonna be, as I say, the design, but also even things like, you know, people have to know the size of their, their ring, like their finger, right, to, to put on the ring. That can go wrong. Like, you know, you can have size, so many issues. I would just keep so far away from this, it's unbelievable. And there's people out there, I think, I thought that was Lord of the Rings thing there, you know, but it is not, you do not have to buy a Lord of the Rings version. No, you don't. But so, don't do it. It's a product I would absolutely keep away from. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, too confused. There's people in cloning. Uh, it's it's a runaway and never come back. All right, so this has been kind of fun today. I hope you've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it today. It's been more lighthearted video, but an important one. I mean, I hopefully you're not selling any of these items or you're considering selling any of these items. That said, what I want you to do is let me know what's a product that you've seen lately in your research that's hot, too, too many results, not interested in doing it, based upon what we talked about on the channel. Please put in the name of the product in the comments right now, right now, and like the video while you're at it, please. It's along the way, it's on the journey down. And then what I want you to do is, yeah, just comment and let me know, what is it? Give me the name of the product, give me the ASIN, whatever you want, because what we can do then is we can use this list to make a little list of products you shouldn't do, and we can put it out so that it can save you and lots of other people time. So get that into the comments right now. I'm sure you can just think of one right now if you've been researching and products, let's get back to the video. Okay, we're into the sixth, I got it right, product today, and that is an apple slicer. Now, when we look at the screen, you're gonna be shouting, I'm sure you're shouting right now when you see this, Stephen, the search results are absolutely fine, what could the problem possibly be? See, 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 see! So it's 688, which is yes, less than a thousand, that's why I wanted to show you this one today. It is, but there's a number of problems with this item, okay? Number one, we go down. The BSRs are pretty good. You know, it's telling me it's a pretty big market. Uh, there's definitely demand in this market for apple slicers, so that's cool. And it's it's a year-round product. Some items are out of whack, some items are, are in whack, I suppose, not phrase. Uh, but here's the thing. 
a lot of the, the price is getting trapped in this market right now. That's number one, because you can just see it. There's things at 13.49, 9.99. As we scroll down, there's things at 25, trying to be more uh, premium. Things at 10.99, it's all over the place pricing wise. Secondly, it's a confused market because lots of different types of ones. Which one would you do? What would you not do? Uh, and also, a lot of these items They've got their sharp. So again, there's a potential liability issue. Some of these are gonna be patented as well, I'm sure. I'd have to do more research into it. But again, these have that look about them. They could be patented, even if they're not patented or patented, depending where you're from. It's just something that, you know, could break easily. It could have sharp edges. It's too confused. There's a lot of people like in there. No one's really doing anything remotely different. So it doesn't really work. Whereas if it was an apple slicer for a specific purpose, like brewing or something like that, I think you could be onto something there because you're you're you would get even more niche. And so it's relatively niche as it is, but it's just kind of like how would you stand out here? What would you do? And I think if you were looking at this, you'd probably be thinking, I'm not too sure what I would do. I'd probably make a little bit of a better offer. I'd probably go up in price as well. But it's a kind of a tricky one to, to get right. So that's that's something I would say straight away. Also, people are buying ads uh, for this product as well in a number of different places. So, you know, it's going to be probably not that costly to get involved in this from an ads point of view. I, I'm not in the market, so I can't tell you exactly. I could go and check it, which I will. But I would just say keep away from something like this for all the reasons we've outlined. And I, I know you might be thinking it kind of sucks that our, our, our results are low and it's not going to work, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Even if something is a thousand or less, it doesn't mean automatically it's a great product. And at the same time, if it says that there's more than a thousand results, it doesn't always mean that we wouldn't do it either. And I'll show you more examples of that down the line on the channel as we go forward. So that's that one. And now let's get on to the final one and bring this thing home. Okay, so if there was something, a product out there that I was going to give you that was just such a great example of what not to do at all in a cloned market, this would be the one I would tell you. So this is the silicone baking cup, all right? Now, here, look, look down here, right? What do we see? Pretty much, you know, similar colors all the time. Slightly different colors here, right? But pretty much everyone doing the exact same thing. Doing a 24 pack, 8 pack, 20 pack, whatever. There's just nothing different going on. The prices are really low and it is silicone, so it will be relatively inexpensive to ship and bring in. There is demand in this in this market, but it's just so like what everyone's going with these same colors all the time. So it would be nigh on impossible to stand out in this market. There are 3,000 results, which, which does kick it out automatically anyway. Um, and just just way too much competition, you know? Just something to keep away from. I would say even at the $7.99, obviously there's an Amazon Basics here as well, but I would say that some of these, uh, the, the amount of money it would cost you to run the ads, it's gonna be so hard to stay in profit. And that's just another general rule as well. We keep away from items that are $7 or below. Uh, it's just so hard to be profitable. And, and in this one here, a lot of them are around that price point. We try to get to $20, $25, $30 price points. That's a really nice place to be. So these ones here, I would keep well away from. Do not do them, do not consider them. Uh, don't even talk about them anymore. Just don't do them. All right, that's it. All right, covered a lot of ground today. Seven products that will bomb for you on Amazon if you ever consider doing them. I really hope you haven't done any of them. If you have done any of these before, let us know in the comments. Uh, yeah, I've done them, Stephen. I've made the mistake. And you know, we can certainly comment back and we can have a little bit of a cry together, which will happen. But hey, look, these things happen, mistakes happen. I hope I can help you avoid some of these mistakes with this video today. And as always, if you've enjoyed this, if you got value, like the video number one, two, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Don't be scared, the bell is absolutely fine. It's not gonna bite you. That's gonna actually help get our videos in front of you. So it's a good thing. And as always, give us a comment down in the comments. You know, we gave you a couple of opportunities to comment today. Please do that. And final, 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 go over to Instagram right now and check out my Instagram, Stephen J. Summers. It's something that I'm growing. I wanna be able to chat to you. So send me a DM, let me know what you're up to. Let me know you're enjoying the content. And I hope to see you on there as well. So Stephen J. Summers, it's on screen right now one of these sides, I'm not too sure which. And look, we'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. And thank you as always for watching the video.